Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you can click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. Well, Cincinnati's first snow to me that depicts winter. Winter is officially here for me. Best way to destroy a rim, driving on a flat. Look at that thing coming apart. I'm down here playing with the charger and a couple of batteries. I've noticed that the battery in Little Red has been cranking a little slow. Now this is a 75 month battery. I think that is six years is 72 months six years and three months well the battery is now four years and seven months so that's 48 and seven that's 50 55 so there should be 20 months left on this battery now it cranks the car fine starts it up but it's a little weak sometimes I I just don't feel like it has a cranking power that it's supposed to. Now, it's a 490 cold cranking amp battery, which is what Volvo requires. Volvo requires, I think, something like 460 for these cars. So this is a minimal required battery for that car. It still starts the car up fine, but it just don't seem to have that oomph. So my experience is, if you leave it running, maybe play the radio for 30 minutes to an hour, this battery is going to have a little bit of a hard time starting the car. I just don't think it has a cold crank in it. So I put the tester on it. Let's see what the tester said. I've been charging it for 15 minutes. Let me stop this so you can see what the battery tester said. When I initially hit the battery tester, it said something like 12.4 volts. Then I hit a out of vehicle test before charge. I didn't want it to reject it for not having charge. Cold cranking amps, let me crank that back down to the 490. And when I tested it, it said these two things on top, I forget what we call those. SOH is 32%. SOC was like 30 or 45 percent and now it's up to 98 so right now it's saying it's got 13 volts but it's only got 290 amps cold cranking amps is low so I'm gonna put it on the charger for like six hours and then I'm gonna test it and see if it still recommends replacement it's got the volts but it don't have the cold cranking amps and if it is still telling me to replace it, I'm going to use the repair mode on the charger because I was reading instructions on the charger and it says that there's some things that goes bad in the battery and this charger can recover it. However, as you can see here, this SOH and this SOC, it was low. It's a little higher since it's been on the charger for 15 minutes. And, you know, generally, your alternator does a good job charging your battery, making sure you got enough oomph to start it. But batteries wear over time. And I know people, uh, my buddy Dan the Man, he says he puts his batteries on a charger just to rejuvenate them four times a year. I would think twice a year is good enough, but he says he does all of his batteries quarterly, give them longer life. So... Let's go ahead and leave this on the charger for six hours. When I put it on the charger, only the green light was lit, meaning that it felt like it was fully charged. However, it felt like it needed to do some maintenance on it, and that's why I brought up that SOC. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this on the charger for a few hours, see if we can recover it, and get it a thumbs up, help it last you know who knows maybe another year we're trying to reach this 75 months or longer if you got a 
battery servicer tool like this some kind of charger man who knows maybe you can get eight to ten years out of a battery like people used to when they bought good batteries 15 20 years ago as you can see it's on 12 volts it's testing the charge level of it now and within five minutes it'll probably only show a green light now I picked up another battery interstate battery I think that says maybe 800 cold cranking amps this battery is too dead to crank the car the battery tester would not test the battery when I hit it with the ohm meter the ohm meter says it has six volts but again it wasn't strong enough for the battery tester to test it so when we get done messing with Elizabeth's battery we're going to take this interstate and try it out actually I might put it in a car see if it will start a car and let a car run on it without dying like that other one was that battery there when I jump start the car as soon as I pull the jump box off the vehicle would die but we'll see if this one will allow that to keep going we're also going to check the fluid level in there get it close to topped off if it's low on liquid I'm gonna top it off with the still water so now you see on the charger the only light lit other than the 12 volt light is the green light indicating that it feels like it's fully charged but it's doing some maintenance to it kind of like a tether mode so we're gonna let that run for six hours check it and see if the battery tester will give it a thumbs up if not we're going to put this thing in the repair mode this mode over here to see if it could revive and recover what is dead inside the battery that was one of the reasons why i bought this particular model because it's supposed to be able to recover things that are damaged inside the battery when i purchased this battery i got it from masters touch automotive in albuquerque i kept the receipt I put it in a snack bag and I taped it on the side of the battery so I could have the receipt with the vehicle. So this is where it was taped at and it was purchased in doo -doo 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 -doo, April of 2017. Back down here checking on this. Still got a green light throbbing a little bit. It is 11.30 p.m. I'm going to unplug this test the battery and if it's not giving us a good reading I'm going to put it on repair mode yeah, it looks good 13.2 English out of service after charge regular flooded cold cranking amps 490 I got a message from one of my viewers they said S O H means status of health and SOC is status of charge so we still have a low status of health that's why it's telling us to replace it I only have 325 cranking amps so we're gonna put this on repair and leave it through tonight and see how it turns out see if we can get that status of health up over this 40% one thing I do not like is how dark that post is. It's like it has a layer of corrosion or something on it. It should be silver, not dark black like that. So I need to get my battery post cleaner. Maybe that's something that should be done twice a year as well. So let me go ahead and put this on repair. See if we can get this status of health up on this thing. Plug this in. Do, 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 do. Goes through his testing. Let's go repair here. Oh, I think I have to hold it down for five seconds or something like that. Nope. There it is. Hold it down for three seconds and it goes into repair mode. Alright, let's leave it like that and see how it is in the morning. 
If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.